Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. I'm going to be talking rather softly in this video so you may want to turn me up. Um, let's see here because it's still early in the morning. Some, some people are still sleeping in the house. But I did see a comment this morning on my first video covering the, uh, the RPCS3 emulator about which files do I use once I get my game folder or the game that I'm actually going to be playing on this emulator which steps do I take to actually get the um, <clears throat> the game to boot up and actually be playable so I'm going to be going over some of those steps in this video showing you actually how to do that and cover a few things that I probably left out in the first video so let's get going this is the main folder of the emulator and this is where I do everything. I store the games in here and all that good stuff. So here's the actual uh, rare file that I got of the actual game, which is right down here where my cursor is, lit up in blue, and it's a rare file. So the first thing you want to do when you get this file, of course, is now extract it. So I use 7-zip, and I'm going to pick extract here. I've already got mine, so I'm just going to probably pass this stuff, but that's what you want to do. Once you've extracted it, if we look at the middle of the page now, we're going to see the actual folder of the game, Tales of Vesperia. Now, if I open this up, now I do want to mention before I move on that most games are still not in a playable state that I've tried. So if you're having issues with this, it's probably nothing to do with what you're doing, um, but we're going to actually get into that too in this video. So, um, you know, how you can find out if your game is supposed to be playable at this at this time and date, as far as that goes. All right, so let's go back. We're going to open up this, this folder now on the game. And on the top here, I'm going to uh, click on PS3 game. And in here, I'm going to click on USR DIR. And this is the actual file right here, the eBoot file that I'm actually using to boot up the game in the emulator. So that's the file right there. Mine's a VLC media file. Yours might be different depending on the program you use for that. But mine's VLC. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the main folder. And right down here, we're going to open up the emulator. Now, I already have the game installed from the first time I made the first video and I can't find a way to remove it. I wanted to remove it to show you guys from a clean slate of exactly what everything looks like. But we're just going to make a believe that this game doesn't exist at the moment. But um, we could see that the remove option for me is not, it's grayed out, I can't click on it. So I don't, I don't know how to take it off. But before we do, at the very end here, we're going to see where it says compatibility. And we're going to see that mine is showing yellow in game for this game Tales of Vesperia. So that actually means that there should be some issues and you probably won't be able to finish the game. Is basically what that's telling me. You want it to be green where it says playable. Now if we also right click on the game in the list once you load it into the list once I show you how to do that you then want to check you could check check game uh, compatibility down here in the list if we open that up it's going to take us right to the website of where the whole list is of all the games for this emulator but now it's just going to open up your game that you're interested in and it's going to let you know the status of this game in game and it's going to let you know up on the top what that actually means games that either can't be finished have serious glitches or insufficient performance so it's going to let you know that so we're going to see that 40 percent of the games in their library is this kind where only 26 percent is actual playable so that's another way that you could check the um, the uh, compatibility without going through the whole website in the whole list right there all right, let's go back to the emulator now. Now let's make a believe that this game doesn't exist up here. Now what I'm going to have to do first, though, just give me a moment here. Void shaders. Click that. 
that's going to make it now where I could do a fresh reboot and I'll be able to show you what it looks like when you do. So now what you want to do now is go to the top left, click on File. And then once you click on File, go to Boot Self slash Elf. Click on that. And there's the file right there, the VLC media file. This one's only 9KB. And I'm just going to click on that and click Open. Now we should see a series of all these boxes where it's loading and compiling all the files you need for that game into the emulator. At the bottom it's going to give you a rough idea of actually what's going on. Now many a times you may see failures or errors. They're going to show up in red. I read and understood that a lot of times even a perfectly working game may have those and you don't have to be concerned about that. So just because you see some errors doesn't necessarily mean that that game of yours is not going to work. So just let it do its thing. You got to let these all load up for the game to work properly. So now we know a little bit about the um, compatibility again and which files you actually want to click on for your game to work. Now if your game calls for another kind of file you may want to Google that and find out what kind of file that is for this emulator. And then once it's going to automatically load the game now when, once you've done that. Now keep in mind, this is going to show the very start of the game Tales of Vesperia. So it's going to be a big spoiler alert here. If you don't want to see the beginning of this game, then you may want to stop the video right here. But I just want to show you guys that the game is actually working as far as the start of the game goes. Now it's in Japanese, that's the reason why, the main reason why I'm not playing the game. It's because I don't understand Japanese and... So, like, I don't even know what these are. I'm just pressing on them, and hopefully we'll get the game started. この世界、テルカリミレス。大地と海がどこまで続くのか知る人はいない。なぜなら、世界に蠢く魔物たちに比べ、人はあまりにも弱い。我々の住む町を守る結界我々は己を守るために And that's basically it folks that's how the um that's the files i use right there and we could see that the game's working so um those are the steps i take right there so again these comments are important because they let us they give us ideas for fresh videos so I thank you so much for that comment. So please, folks, comment down below, sub up, and we'll catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.